Microphone, microphone. We <clears throat> haven't won a game since last episode, and it's not a joke one when I say, ah, but we've only played one game. No, we've played quite a few games, but they're quite good teams. Today we are playing the FA Cup, and then we're playing Chelsea. But we've got new signings. You might have seen them. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back. We are into the January transfer window. We've sold a couple of players. Dan Smith has gone for 2.5 million. Took a hefty loss on him. We did. I did. I said at the time I overpaid a bit on him, but he was so good for us. And it's like, he's been a... I'll take the loss. He's been a good servant, but he was unhappy about game time. So I thought, go on, mate. Off your trot. And we also sold our backup centre-back, Kieran Gale, for 2.6 million. Like, he's a good player. 27 million, he's never going to be sort of worth more. We've got a new guy in, might as well get rid. So let's show you the new guys. Lukichan Skurjank. Skurjank. Okay, from Dynamo Zagreb. Here's our new centre-back option. He's a 20-year-old Croatian international, senior international. He's on decent wages. He's a, okay, he's a perfectionist, like he's just a solid player. And... Finally, we I think you saw him before. We got <laughs> Corbinian Einecki. Einek. Einek. We'll go for Einek. Um, from RB Leipzig for £10 million, going up to £10 million. He's an 18-year-old German left-back because we needed more potency in that left-back spot. Somebody with like a lot of star potential. And this guy looks like he could be the one. So very excited to get those two in. I'll show you things. <laughs> but fair, we played Tottenham and Arsenal, Manchester United and Manchester City, and then we're playing Chelsea. Like, I didn't expect much, and I didn't get much. Scored a couple of goals against Spurs, which is nice. Deke scored a goal. Scored a goal against Man City, David Deacon, but that, that kind of just pissed him off. Typical Man United winning all the penalties. Um, yeah, so we're playing Burton Albion, who are League 2, right? But I'm going to play, who's their key player? Paris Long. Right, I'm going to play out pretty much our first team with the new guys. Because although club atmosphere and support and cohesion is good, we need to make sure it doesn't drop after this back because we're going to get spanked in the Chelsea game. The league table, however, are, despite those results, we're still sitting pretty considering we've gone through that run of games and we're at the other side and we're not in the relegation zone. I actually think that bodes really well for us. I'm just hoping it doesn't sort of our form bleed into the sort of lesser sides of the league. Right. It's Burton. Okay. I want you to go out there. I want you to play attacking football. Uh, counter press. We're just going to, I just want to, I just want to push a little bit more. Also into a mistake. Right. Don't fuck this up. <laughs> I don't actually care about the FA Cup, but it's more for the happiness of the players. Right, Cookies with a lovely turn. Plays it out to Hunter Marshall. Plays it in. Oh. Okay, yeah, penalty. Go on, Deeks. Go on, go on, son. Go on, son. There we go, calm as you like. Apparently, Deeks is... Determination has gone down or something because I've got a news article saying due to off the field stuff, he's less folk, less determined than he was before or some shit. Which is a bit sucky. Game the uh, McDaddy arrest today. And City already 2 0 up against Lincoln. Poor Lincoln. Oh, also, I've got to let you know, there will be no football manager. Well, no, there will be no episode of this series tomorrow um, because there's going to be a different video. This series obviously will come back on Monday as per normal. Um, I'm actually changing the way going forward. I'm pretty much changing the way I do everything. Um, pretty much. The schedule for streaming, the schedule for videos is all changing. I'll let you know when I have final dates. I'm just basically working everything out. I've got some really, really got good past. 
I've got some big plans for Football Manager, the next Football Manager. I already know what I'm doing on Twitch with it, and I already know what I'm doing on YouTube with it, and the Journeyman is returning. I've got some ideas for that, but there's also some other stuff. Basically, I don't know when this will all happen. I'm not streaming at the moment. I'm just basically working out everything that I need to do. Um, there will be random streams while I work out a proper schedule and stuff. It's just a... Go on, go on, go on, go on. Yes, he gets an assist on his debut. Um, yeah, so there's going to be lots of just planning, scheduling, working out exactly what the best time is, making sure work-life balance and all that. I want to do... I've always enjoyed the saves, the long-term saves, the journeyman and stuff like that, but I also wanted to do some more chatty videos mainly about football manager occasionally about football and you know me it might occasionally be about something totally random that pisses me off but i might make one day a week into just more of a conversational video like i said don't know which days it's all happening yet and stuff i'll let you know as soon as i know but i have over the last couple of weeks i've been working on a document about video ideas for stuff that's just more conversational chatty about football manager um that starts off tomorrow with the video, which is going to be basically the five. I always do this just generally every year. Similar video is the five things I want to see in the next football manager. And what I would love for you guys is to have a think now. Um, I've got to keep them as a box to box. Um, have a think now for tomorrow's video about what five things you want to see. And this can be like incredibly personal to you. It might be something that just irritates you. You might hate that overly sized football that sits in the corner of all the stadiums. And that is your biggest wish. That's fine. Because it's personal preference. So you'll find out my five tomorrow. <clears throat> and yes, spoiler alert, there is one about stadiums. <laughs> but you never, you know, we can hope. And because and, and, we should be getting information like in the next couple of weeks. Oh, God, oh, it's offside. In the next couple of weeks for the new football manager. So let's see if any of the things I suggest are going to be in the game. Maybe two might be actually fixed. And I'm not... When I say five things you want to see in football manager, it's less about sort of bug fixes. You know, like oh, fix one-on-ones or whatever, whatever you think needs fixing. That's a good save. <clears throat> it's more about sort of new stuff or change stuff. Hunter's going to take the free kick. Doesn't usually. Does he fancy it? Whip one around the side of the wall. Go on then. Good save. So have a think. Get your thinking caps on. Let's get Deeks off. He plays a lot of football. For tomorrow's video. Right. This is what we wanted to see. Comfortable, professional performance. A clean sheet. Striker scoring, all good. Well done, lads. And now we get spanked by Chelsea. Yay! Debut, 7.6. 7.8. Kind of the perfect time to bring him in there. But more importantly... Morale is good. That's going to help morale massively. We've only got three days because it's, is it, are we up to Christmas coming up? It's a busy period. 92 grand. That's fine. Right. On to the Chelsea game. All right. Chelsea are sitting seventh. So they're like the West, the worst of this really good group of football clubs. So, you know, um, interestingly, a fees had, uh, Shanghai have just bid £11.75 million pounds for him. And uh, apparently that is met his release clause. How was, <clears throat> so he has an active relegation release clause, despite us being relegated two years ago and then being promoted back into the league. He's still, that is still active. That seems unfair. <laughs> right, so we're going to give... Liu's got goals in him though. Okay, no, we're going. I'm going to stick with it. Did both these boys perform well? And that's good enough for me, right? We're going to go Simon 
on there. Hunt and Marshall had a good game. The Foolis folks had a good, better game considering I was playing him at the wrong position for like the last for the first 45 minutes. Right. Okay. Deeks. Gonna need a league goal here, mate. Seven league goals in 21 is like not terrible for, you know, newly promoted side, but it's Deacon. He should be at least a one in two man, even in the Premier League. I'm worried. I'm worried that at some stage we might need to replace Deacon. Not now. Especially if we do, if we get relegated again. But over the next sort of four years, like I feel like in a couple of years, we might have bypassed him. We might need better players. That was way too easy. But luckily Chelsea were wearing a salmon pink kit and they missed because of it. Right, so we got Southampton at 16 and we've got Stoke and Blackburn and Sheffield United at 18. We've got Derby. That's a pretty close one. I'm, not, I'm, I'm still, despite being, clearly being in a relegation battle, I'm, I'm feeling okay about it. I feel like we're going to be all right. We've just had our six most difficult games of the season in a row. That's a good, oh, that's a good block. Come on, boys. One of these games we should be able to get an upset. Okay, okay. We've not created a terrible amount. But we've kept a clean sheet early in a game, which is rare for us. Oh, Barker. <laughs> Barker and uh, what's-his-face are still battling it out for that first spot. Go on, Felice. Go on, Felice. Can he find the Deeks? Oh, my God. He's... Okay. Yeah, meant it, meant it, meant it. Of course he meant it. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking finish after one of the world's worst passes. Let's just see what he does with the ball here. So he gets, he wants to see someone. He's like, oh, hang on. Let me just pass to this guy. Oh, I'll pass 30 centimetres. But we get it back. And he finishes it first time into the bottom corner. And finally, we are beating one of the big boys. Are they, no, no. Oh, are they instantly going to, Score. Go on, Hunter. Let us get to half time. Let us give us some hope, Chelsea. Fuck off. Give us some hope, you bar rich bastards. Oh, okay, okay. Get rid. That's the right thing to do. Deeks wins it though. Oh no, actually it was the other guy. Go on, fleece. Go on. Oh, what a finish! What a finish! Okay. Come on. What do I do though now? Do I go more defensive? <laughs> Come on, get it to half time. Do we start time wasting? Oh, you can just let us have it for a minute, could ya? Okay, stops us getting carried away at half time. I right, get, get, okay, thank God for that. Right. What the fuck do we do? Nothing. <laughs> I was like, do I drop one of the strikers to a DM position? And then I almost got like decision paralysis and then I ended up doing nothing. It's too early to change things up. We got to 2-1 playing this way. By putting away our chances. Go on, Simon. He's battling. He's found a ball in. That's decent. Done really well. Foolis. Yeah, Deeks. Lovely. Pings it back post. Go on. Nods it down. Simon! Get in there! 3-1. It's 3-1. Okay. Okay. That's first of the season. Might have been... Do I change anything now? <laughs> Do I? I really want a time waste. Is it bad just time keeping the tactic exactly the same, but then time wasting? So high press, counter press, but when you win the ball back, immediately waste time. So you try really hard to win the ball back and then just keep it forever. 
okay. Yeah, we'll live with that. Yes. Win it. Go on, Deeks. Come on, Deeks. Dink him. Dink him. Dink him. Yes. Come on. Okay. Now we definitely go to Fort. We don't need any more goals. Now we definitely go. Who's tired? Uh, Felice is tired. Uh, okay. Let me, just, let me just chill. Just relax a little bit. It's 4 1 up against Chelsea. I'm amazed Deeks didn't just dink it over the top of the goalkeeper there. Simon, we're looking for number five. Uh, watch this left hand side. It's a tiny little gap there. Just, uh, just noticed that. Oh my god, the goalkeeper! What is that? <laughs> what is this positioning? What are you doing, Parker? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. He took like a step to the right. Look. Look at that for an angle, that is. He keeps going. He keeps going. Look. Mmm. Mmm. Not a fan, Barker. Unless you were trying to protect like a granny in that row or something. This is not the angle. Oh, no, don't. Don't do stupid stuff, please. Team. There we go. That's it. 4-2. No, Ten minutes left. Ben wins it. I, if we concede now, we won't hold on to the lead. Okay, I'm telling you now. If we concede in this, we will not hang on for 15 minutes against Chelsea. Yes. Yes. Okay. 81 minutes in. Good tackle. Great tackle from the new guy. The Scourge. Oh, it's a bit last ditch. Oh, does it, did he just back heel that? It looked like he cleared it with his... Heel, the new guy, the new German youngster. Don't give no shit. Okay, world's longest highlight. Block it, block it, block it. Okay, world's worst shot. That's right. Okay, okay. Let's see, six, eight. Yeah, it's a corner. Okay, if they score now, there's a 50 50 chance we'll hang on. Go on, Ben. Not the player we really want. It's like my players don't want to win. All right. Look at this for a back pass. Look at this for a horror show of a back pass. He definitely wasn't playing it to Scourge. Was he trying to play it back to the goalkeeper through this guy? Really? Look, look at the angle of the goalkeeper as well. <laughs> I think my, I think Barker might be drunk. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's ignore that. Right. Okay. Defend. 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 Okay. Ball in the midfielder. Defend. Um. No. Hoof it. Uh. Yep. 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 Okay, come on, boys. Come on, five minutes. Five minutes. I actually feel sick. This is such a big game. If we can... We've got two subs to waste time. This is good. Boom. Okay. Minute and a half. Um, experience of McDaddy coming on. Yes! Oh, that's such a huge result. Despite our players' best efforts to throw that 
win away, goalkeeper and defensive midfielder doing their best to sabotage us. We picked up a win against Chelsea. That is fucking huge. That's a freebie. And we picked up a win. We, I think, like, at the five, six nightmarish games we've just had, I think we deserved at least a win out of those games. Like, we actually, I remember playing really well against Arsenal, just not putting it away. Okay, there we go. It's all fixed. Um, I w wouldn't swap him for anyone. Not even Rodrigo Miguel. Oh, I'd swap him. He's valued at 98 million. I feel like we should swap him. They spent 184 million pounds on this player. I feel like we should, if we, if I was given the option, let's just compare, just for fun. Um, yeah. I would swap. Although, Felice is four years younger. So, and he's on 250 grand less a week, which is handy. Right, there we go. We are done for the day. Like I said, there's no normal video tomorrow. That'll be back on Monday. Tomorrow there will be a special Football Manager 2022 video. Get your thinking caps on. Think of what five things you want to see. And when you go through the comments, if you like any of the video, if you like any of the comments or the ideas that people come up with, Drop him a like, and then all the good stuff will rise to the top. Sports, I'm not... Obviously, it's too late for us to influence this year's game. But I know for a fact that sports interactive people do watch these videos and stuff like that. And if you come up with a genius idea, they might... Well, obviously, they would steal it and not give you any credit for it, because that's the way the world works. But you would know in your heart that it was you that came up with the idea for FM23. Right. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.